Yo, what's going on? <laughs> this is your boy FOG Travel. I'm not back with another video because I'm trying something new. So you guys, uh, what I want to do is, on this channel, I just want to talk about business. I want to talk about making money. I want to talk about every way that a human being can use to make money. All right? That's why this channel is called Street Money. All right? Now, uh, to begin with, to begin with, I am that type of person who loves business a lot. I've been to a business school, I understand business and all that, and I found myself in a situation in 20, 20, 2020 where I went completely bust, I went completely broke, like nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so these are a lot of things that I learned. MBA um, knowledge is not enough on the streets. On the streets, you gotta pay attention to what people are doing, and you gotta pay attention to what the books are saying. If you got books, and try to compare. All right. So today, what I want to talk about is why some businesses make it and some businesses don't. You see what I mean? What I've seen is that you can start business. Like I started my hustle of importing laptops from the United States and selling them in Zambia. And what I found is that I could grow from one laptop to two, to three, then go back to one and zero. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Now, why, why is it that things happen like that? I did a lot of research around that to find out exactly why I was going back to zero. When you look at the pattern of my sales, I was not selling regularly. You see what I mean? I would sell like after three months, you know what I'm saying, make one sale, after another two months, maybe make one sale, that kind of a thing. Now, in business, you can't, you can't survive like that. You see what I'm saying? If you're gonna do business, if you're gonna do any kind of business, you've got to understand that every business needs what is known as a cash flow. And that cash flow has to be regular. What it means is that there's gotta be money coming in and money going out every time. You see what I mean? So how do you keep money coming in and going out of your business? You see what I mean? That's where you find that most businesses that do that trade, okay, in goods, for example, they will have a portfolio of goods that they will deal in. And in that portfolio, you're gonna find high profit, high gain goods, and you're gonna find really like low profit, but fast moving goods. You see what I mean? So it's kind of like you go carry out it needs analysis of the kind of niche, the kind of niche, sorry, <laughs> that you're into. And you've got to know like what are the consumables, the regular consumables in that niche. Then you've got to have that in stock. You see what I'm saying? Like for example, when I look at my laptop trading business, I was supposed to be having things like mice, <laughs> because people consume mice all the time. I was supposed to have things like ink cartridges you see what i'm saying because people consume ink cartridges all the time you see what i'm saying i was supposed to be having things that move quickly and are in demand all the time what that meant i was supposed to have usb chargers you know for phones or stuff like that i was supposed to have all that but i just focused on you know get some laptops into the country and make some money and it didn't work. I went back to zero. I go. I'm going bust, like in a bad way. You see what I'm saying? So, one thing you can take away from my discussion today is that if you're gonna run a successful business, then you need to know what goods are consumed all the time in that business, as well as the goods that may be consumed after a long period of time, but will give you some high profit. You get what I'm saying? Let's take a big company like SpaceX. All right, the, the main, the main um, business of SpaceX is to create rockets, all right? And what do they do with the rockets? They send them to space, right? So they are hired by, for example, the United States government to send, you know, satellites into space. They are hired to, you know, send um, cargo to spaceships, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But that cannot be happening all the time. 
they could stay even for a year would have been hired to do any other so how are they going to keep their cash flow their cash flowing you see what i'm saying so they sat down and said you know what what is it that we can do that people consume the most it's the internet you see what i mean so they said all right then let's make small satellites that are going to be orbiting the earth and then people will be paying us for the internet subscription you see what i'm saying and that's what they've started and that's what they're doing and now they're beginning to have regular cash you see what i'm saying the same thing like when i go on the streets right on the streets of Osaka, zambia i see people have like my buddies like uh, angel my buddy yeah he's got like different kinds of shoes that he sells some of those shoes they move fast and you'd be surprised to find that what moves fast are sandals you see what i mean he will have a good shoe selling it at 600 kwacha okay zambian kwacha all right and he will have sandals which go for 120 150 and every day he'll he'll sell a sandal <laughs> but you know what the profit of his business is wrapped up into the goods which are expensive but those fast moving goods just give him money for eating money for you know transport you know what i'm saying how is he gonna trade if he ain't gonna feed he needs to feed first of all and that's why he needs some regular cash flow you see what i mean so what i'm saying is every business when you look at it analyze it you're gonna find there is, that there is one product that they've got that is always in demand and that is a product that keeps them standing whereas the bigger products the bigger products get them to do bigger things you see what i'm saying that money don't come regularly but when it shows up then it makes the business to move ahead all right i hope you're liking this new youtube channel street money okay i'm gonna be moving around experimenting with businesses you know showing you what people are doing in business right here in zambia as well as in other countries i intend to really like make this thing to be a global thing you know what i'm saying we're gonna check the streets like the real streets the internet streets you know what i'm saying everywhere all right so i hope you've liked you've picked up something from this discussion okay if you're gonna go into a business for example of dealing in uh, car spare parts yeah you could be bringing cars like complete cars but how many people are gonna buy cars every month you see what i'm saying so it could be an idea that you could start doing in things like wipers <laughs> mats you know what i mean you could be dealing in you know little little things like sterling covers sterling wheel covers you know what i'm saying things that people need all the time you know what I'm saying? Then that way, your business is gonna be moving. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing in truck parts, okay, you need to be dealing in things like oil filters, because oil filters are consumed all the time. You see what I'm saying? Um, suspension units, what do they call them? Shock absorbers? Yeah, you see? Things which move all the time. You gotta have them in stock, okay? Tires, you get what I'm saying? But your core business could be for example, selling trucks or selling truck engines. You get what I'm saying? Every business, I challenge you and comment just right down there. If I am telling you stuff that ain't true, comment because I have proof of what I'm talking about. I'll take, for example, one other buddy of me, uh, Lynette. Lynette, that's her name. Yeah. She just deals in, you know, low cost shoes and you're gonna find her with like baby shoes all the way up to adult shoes you know what i'm saying like low cost shoes and you'll be surprised that what moves the most is actually baby shoes <laughs> why should baby shoes move faster than adult shoes it's because babies always lose their shoes <laughs> you see what i mean you could buy a one-year-old a shoe today okay you want me to take a trip to town come back <laughs> you don't know where the sh one of the shoes went so you're gonna have to buy again you see what i'm saying and that's how babies do that's baby psychology and baby life all right so basically that's all i gotta tell you about this you know portfolios you see just look everywhere man including people who are dealing food <laughs> they know what kind of food moves all the time and what kind of food takes longer to move 
You see what I mean? That's why you find that most people who deal with fruits are gonna have fruits, okay? Fruits and veg. These things are disposable, but they move a lot because all the time people are looking for fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go into a typical shop right here in Osaka, you're gonna find fruits, you know, apples, okay? Between apples and grapes, what moves faster? It's apples. So they're gonna have more apples than grapes. At least I've seen that in Zambia because grapes are expensive. Apples are cheaper. You see what I'm saying? Between mangoes, small mangoes and big mangoes, what moves faster? It's the small mangoes. So if you're gonna deal with mangoes and you wanna go big mangoes, you may struggle. But if you've got big mangoes and small mangoes, the small mangoes are gonna give you money to get into town and do business. You see what I'm saying? You see? That's what I gotta tell you about what I've discovered about market portfolios, goods portfolios. You see what I'm saying? So if you're gonna stay in business, then you better work out some form of a portfolio for yourself. Okay? Between stuff that moves fast and probably gives you less profit and stuff that moves really slow but gives you more profit. Because stuff that moves slow needs more marketing. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I had for you. Until next time, I'm out of here. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get informed each time I upload a new video. I'm out of here. Peace. See you.